So Next Up Care is a health technology company and we're committed to reducing patient wait times for high demand medical procedures such as MRI and CT scans using optimized scheduling software. What are some of the issues right now with wait times? How long are they? So the classic example is for a typical outpatient MRI in Ontario, the wait time is 100 days versus a target which has been set by the Ministry of Health of 28 days. And most hospitals are not being able to meet their wait time targets at the moment. How can you help uh, make that better? So our solution is an optimized scheduling platform where we bring together hospitals, doctors and patients on a common platform to find the nearest facility with the shortest wait time to schedule the earliest appointment for a patient. It seems like such an obvious thing, but this has not existed before. No, it hasn't. So right now there are point solutions in the marketplace which allow you to do appointment scheduling or wait time reporting, but nowhere do you have a one platform that brings together both hospitals, doctors and patients to ensure that you get a better experience at the end of the day. And the amazing thing in terms of what you're talking about is using technology to decrease these wait times. Essentially, you could also be saving lives in the process. Of course. When you think about it, you know, there's a cost associated with excessive wait times. One of them is, you know, you're on medication that you shouldn't be on medication. Your treatment is actually being delayed and your family is providing support for you. So there is a cost with excess wait times and many people don't factor that in in terms of the treatment schedules that we have. When we're talking about the healthcare industry, sometimes it's difficult to think of this industry as being a leader in innovation and as, a, as an example of a, someone or an industry that will be able to change quickly. How do you help them along the way? So one of the ways in which we help them is we engage with them on an ongoing basis. So a lot of hospitals actually have their own mini versions of incubators where they bring in startups so they can introduce new ideas and disruptive technologies into their organizations. So we're working with those um, organizations to see whether or not we can come in there and help them in terms of disrupting their business. Uh, in terms of clients signed on today, where are you at as far as working with certain hospitals? So right now we have one hospital we're working with in a pilot phase that will run for another few months and then we bring on board additional pilots throughout the course of the year and we expect to launch our platform at the end of 2016. How has the pilot period been going? It's been going well. Um, gathering data has been a bit of a challenge um, as it is in many institutions but we're working with them and we're getting through that. What attracts you to this business? What attracts me to it is because it's a difficult problem but it has real world impacts. Our company will actually be able to help patients reduce their wait times and improve their overall health and well-being. And that for me is a very powerful thing in terms of the company. Do you see this as technology that will be rolled out not just in Canada but around the world? Of course. So I'm starting here in Ontario with my hospitals and then I roll it out across Canada as well. And I actually look at it as going beyond diagnostic imaging. We could provide these sort of services for general surgeries and other procedure types and then going globally of course.